Whatever. Hey folks, it's Manny. And I'm Scott. We're here from Mediocre EMS, and we're here to go over the treatment protocol for a hypoglycemic patient. The first thing you're gonna wanna do upon the beginning of your shift is you're always gonna wanna check your equipment. The last thing that you wanna do is show up on scene and you go to take a piece of equipment out that you need to treat the patient and it's not there. So always check your equipment at the beginning of your shift. So let's jump right into the scenario. You arrive on scene and you have a patient that's semi-conscious that's slurring her speech. Now Scott and I have already determined that this is a diabetic emergency. Scott has informed me that the blood sugar is 30 and the patient has informed us that she took her insulin last night, fell asleep early and has not eaten anything in a while. So what will you do as an EMT? As an EMT, you will administer oral glucose and you will request the paramedics. The paramedics will come, they will administer an IV, they will give D50 or D10 or glucagon. However, here at Mediocre EMS, we don't have that budget. We don't have those things. As a matter of fact, we had to buy our own bags from Amazon Prime. So with that being said, we're going to go over the treatment protocols and use the equipment that we have to treat this patient. We will now begin the treatment process of treating this patient's hypoglycemia. Scott, would you please hand me the first piece of equipment that we will be using? M&Ms. They're cheap and they're loaded with sugar, which is exactly what this patient needs. So Scott, would you please hand me some M&Ms that we can assist with this patient? Sorry. Okay. We will now assist with giving the patient the M&M so they she Hopefully her blood sugar will rise. Ma'am, we're going to help you now help you now get your blood sugar up, okay? We're going We will now wait approximately five minutes and then we will reassess her blood sugar to see if it has risen. Look at this dog water skiing. <laughs> oh my God, send that to me. Oh my God, you gotta send that to me right now. So a few minutes has gone by and Scott has informed me that the patient's blood sugar has not risen. So we will now proceed with the second line of treatment. Scott, would you please hand me the second piece of equipment? Pure sugar, because that is what the patient needs. Great value too. We told you things were tight. So we know what you're thinking right now. First they put M&Ms in this patient's mouth and now they're gonna pour sugar in the patient's mouth. Well, guess what? You're wrong because there's another piece of equipment that I bet you thought we were forgetting. Scott, would you please hand me the funnel? All right. Okay, that's okay. Blood sugar. So now what we will do is we will proceed to explain to the patient what we will be doing. Ma'am, your blood sugar is not up yet, so we're gonna help you again with another form of treatment. Oh, dude. Once the funnel is in to the patient's mouth, we will then proceed with taking the sugar. A tooth. It's a mannequin. No, oh, yeah. I suppose in real life, but, okay. We will now proceed with the sugar, and we will now slowly pour the sugar in. And then again, we will be waiting a few more minutes to see if the patient's blood sugar has risen. Metallica one. Doctors in visiting me over the seat. So, a few minutes has gone by and Scott has informed me that the patient's blood sugar has risen a little bit. It is now 40. 
but it's still not up to what we need it to be. So, with that being said, we carry our own medical control, our own doctor. Scott, would you please take out the doctor that we will be using to help this patient? Dr. Thunder. He's a physician. That's correct. And he is also loaded with sugar and specifically designed for hypoglycemia patients. Mm -hmm. So, what we will be doing now is e explaining to the patient what we're going to do, and then we will be pouring the soda in. Fresh. Mm. Ma'am, your blood sugar is rising, but it's not rising to what we need it to be. So we're gonna administer another treatment to you, okay? Okay? Fizzing's a good sign. It's correct, that's, that's correct. When you see the fizzing, then you know that it's correctly working. So now what we will do for the last time is we will wait a few more minutes and see if the patient's blood sugar has risen. So a few minutes has gone by and Scott and I have been on scene for too long. So Scott has informed me now that the patient's blood sugar is 2000. So now it's time to transport to the hospital. So on a quick note, and it's going to save you a big headache, when you do transport to the hospital and you arrive on scene, make sure that the funnel is not in the patient's mouth because you may get strange looks from the staff. So, with that being said, we hope you've enjoyed our treatment protocol for a diabetic patient. And until next time, and our ambulance is in service, we'll see you soon.